Welcome to the Prophecy Club. In May of 2016, we had Pastor Massey come in and he made three DVDs. And they're excellent DVDs. Matter of fact, I'll have to say he's been one of the more popular speakers we've had over the last several years. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play part of the audio of the most popular of the three DVDs called The Babylonians Are Coming. We're about to listen to that. But we've also put together a fantastic package with the three DVDs plus two more DVDs. An unbelievable deal. Now, let me first tell you about the DVDs. Miracles in Pakistan, and this is his testimony. Now, God began to speak audibly to him, proved his call by miracles, how he sent him into street witnessing. This is in Pakistan, as he calls it. When homes were burning, man raised from the dead, fear of our lives. God sent me to South Africa, then to America. Then visits to heaven and hell. He's had one visit to heaven where he saw his mansion being built. Then he saw a book of sins, a video and an audio being removed of his life. The book of life, angel with a scepter, three visits to hell where he saw his mother being sent to hell because her name wasn't in the book of life and he was explained why. There is constant torment in hell. Then his most popular one, the Babylonians are coming, are actually eight dreams and visions that he was shown for America. For example, the one is called Churches Full of Goats. God is going to destroy America. Like in Jeremiah, America will be conquered. Nuclear bombs hit American houses, blowing them up. Russia defeats America in a surprise nuclear attack. Russians and Orientals invade on foot from submarines. American bullets won't fire. Invaders take over America. Sons and daughters captured, tortured, and killed. American homes burned. Homes and ships burning coastal cities. 72 hours warning before the financial collapse. Now about the amazing deal. We call it the best of 2016. You get miracles in Pakistan, visits to heaven and hell, the Babylonians are coming, his three DVDs, plus Bree Keaton's explosive prayer strategies, emergency prayers that work. Trump speaks to the elite, which is Lindsay's brand new DVD. And he's talking about how Trump has changed everything and the new world order has to change their plans. All five DVDs valued at $168. Now listen to this. All five of them are available for a gift of just $75. Now, yes, DVDs help us stay on the air. But what really keeps us going is your gifts and your donations. And of course, your prayers. You can get that at prophecyclub.com or by calling 785-266-1112. Now the DVD. Pastor Masih, raised in Pakistan, studied Islam 14 years. 1989, God began to speak audibly to him, got him saved, and he started over 300 churches, led 23,000 Pakistanis, Muslims, to Jesus. Many miracles follow his ministry. In 1999, God sent him to America where he was shown eight dreams and visions for the fall of America. Now let's go listen to The Babylonians Are Coming. In 2012, I was in Tennessee. I opened my Bible and the Lord started speaking to me. I never thought this thing because most of the time I preach this thing. Love your enemies and those who persecute you, pray for them. Turn the other cheek. And this was very contradictory to what I have preached for many, many years. This vision gave me the understanding that the financial clap is coming where we will be unable to buy anything with dollar because the dollar will, no, dollar will have no value. In order to feed and protect our families, we need gold, silver, and guns. The Lord showed me from Luke, where Jesus said to his disciples, that's what the passage the Lord showed me. When I send you without a purse, did you lack anything? They said, no. But now I tell you, have the purse and buy the sword. And if you don't have money to buy the sword, sell your cloak and buy the sword. This was very contradictory message I was hearing because all those years I was preaching and I was not even willing to believe this thing. I said, no, oh, how come the Lord is speaking to me like that? But there must be a reason and I said, okay, God, if you're telling me that you going, that I should have a gun, you, you should prove it to me. I came to my wife after having this talk with the Lord. And I said to my wife, we should get a gun. She said, no, we cannot use God's money for a gun. I said, okay, but let me really see if this is really, really from God. 
I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask God, if this is from you, then you're going to provide me a gun without money. I was preaching in Nebraska and after the church service, pastor said, you know, pastor must say, hey, what you going to do after the, after the service afternoon? I said, I don't know. Maybe take a nap or something. Yeah. You know, do you like to go for, for shooting range? I said, oh, I love that. <laughs> I, I will really, you know, enjoy that time. So here, they took me to the shooting range on their farm area. And we did the shooting and, you know, target hitting and all kind of things. Then one of the guys said, Pastor Masse, do you have any gun? I said, no. He said, you know, if you will ever have a gun, what kind of gun do you like to have? Because I don't know much, you know, the names of the guns over here. So I said, I like to have a gun with that scope. Uh, he said, okay. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He didn't promise that, you know, I'm going to give you a gun or nothing. After a month, I was preaching 90 miles away from that place. Because I sent an email that I'm going to be coming and speak in this area. This guy and his wife called me. They said, Pastor Masi, we saw your email that you're coming in this area. We'd like to come and see you tonight. They drove 90 miles to come to attend my service. And after the service, this guy said, you know, Pastor Masi, where's your car? I said, over there in the parking lot. Okay, let's go to your car. Okay, so open your trunk. I opened my trunk. He opened his trunk. He said, you know, here, remember a month ago you sent me something and I didn't promise anything. I didn't say anything. But the Lord spoke to me. I brought these guns for you. <laughs> I came home. I told my wife, look, see, I, I told you that God has spoken to me because I told I am not going to spend any money. If this is really from the Lord, he should provide it for me to free. Amen? Amen. So he did it. Praise God. So that, that really confirmed that we should have those things. Praise God. As we read in Luke 22, verse 35 to 38. So that's the reference you can see. So this is really, really important. My dear brothers and sisters, the time is coming that we should have the coins. We should have. Uh, because dollar is going to clap. This is what's going to happen. So you should know that. Famine is coming. That's another dream the Lord showed me. The, the Lord told me that I must store up food. Like Joseph. After interpreting Pharaoh's dream, God instructed me to gather grain, food, and water. I saw myself in dream gathering food then I was driving a large diesel truck loaded with grain, corn, and wheat. I was in line with other trucks which drove to a place where the grain were unloaded into a barn in a remote farmland. You know, farmland area. Not, not in a city. I was not storing up the food in the city. Okay. This was in the dream. So... What happened, I stored up that food and then the next part of the dream was like I, God showed me in the city that people are waiting for the food to come. And they're standing in front of their doors that the food trucks are going to come, but those trucks came and they were empty. There was no food. And one of the things I noticed in every dream when I saw this kind of thing, there was outage of light. There was no light. It really put the people back in 200 years. Like no electricity. People are going to cook on with the wood. I said, this is really shocking. And it's a cold winter. And people are really, really sad. And that's one thing I saw. It was an open vision. I was driving from Denver to fly to, I believe it was in Minneapolis area. So when I was driving, all of a sudden I saw in my vision that bomb exploded and the light is out, no car is running, everything is shut down. And I said, my goodness, what's going on? What is this? 
And I talked with some of my friends and they explained to you, this is called EMP bomb, electromagnetic pulse. So this will really, you know, paralyze your electric system and everything you have. So we need to be praying that God will protect us and God will destroy the plans of those nations, those who have evil intention against this country. And may God delay this whole thing which God has shown to us. Praise God. Then in another vision I saw the earthquake happening and this earthquake is happening more like in California, California, California area like uh, and one of the thing in this dream I saw that all the houses are collapsed, the earth opened wide and my this was so scary. But one of the thing I also saw that my house is the only house was spared. All around me is chaos. All the houses are fallen. I mean big holes of of the earth is opened up all kind of things happening. So please understand English is not my first language. I have very difficult time to explain, you know, in a good English. But please, you know, try to understand, you know, what I'm trying to say. You know, these, I really thank God that these PowerPoints were put by my daughters. <laughs> you know, I praise God. But again, you know, if I start reading from the PowerPoints, I have a difficult time because uh, I'm not a, a politician, those who read from the <laughs> teleprompters. <laughs> so please understand. I have to say what is in my heart. Amen. 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 Yes, so <laughs> then I can more connect with the people. Why, why politicians have no connection with the people? Because they read from the teleprompters. The any guy speak without the teleprompter will really touch the hearts of people. Do you know that? Yes. Praise God. This is really, really important. So we should speak from the heart, not from the teleprompters. So this is something. When I had this dream about all the homes and everything's, you know, crumbling down, this getting destroyed. The Lord gave me this passage, Psalm 91, verse 8 and 9. Because... Thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh the dwelling. Amen. It will not come near your house. It will protect. You know, God will protect you. Amen. Pra praise God. Amen. This is, th there's another thing I want to tell you about the earthquake. Even before the Japan earthquake happened second time. The Lord showed me that the earthquake which happening, you know, the places the earthquake happened, like for example, 20 years ago, the Lord showed me that it's going to repeat the same areas. It's going to repeat in those areas where the earthquake happened first time, it's going to happen second time, it may happen third time too. So this is what God showed me. And uh, I said, oh my goodness, this is scary. And people must repent. And especially, it is happening in those areas where the people are much more wicked and, you know, uh, not really worshipping God. Atheists, homosexuals are bad people. And because God hates sin. God doesn't hate the sinner. God hates sin. So that's kind of pictures I saw in my, my dreams. This is scary. Then... When I came from my trip to trip from Israel, I was fasting and praying. And I was in my, this was an open vision. The, after the service, pastor, he took me to a restaurant. It was happened on June 28, 2015 in Cottage Grove, Oregon. Here I was sitting and eating with pastor. And all of a sudden, I saw that the big, huge wave of the waters coming and it, I almost got scared. I said, am I really seeing something? Is really happening? It's taking, covering the skyscrapers. 
And I, I said, I, I got so nervous. I said, Pastor, by the way, tell me, you know, how far we are from the ocean. <laughs> and uh, he said, around about, you know, like 100 some miles. I said, okay, that'll be good. <laughs> because I was so nervous. He said, what, what, what's, why, why are you asking me this question? This is a Lutheran pastor. He doesn't know about the visions and dreams. <laughs> and I say, you know, I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing a vision that this tsunami is going to hit American coastal cities. And I say, you know, it was, you know, for him was a panic. It for me was, you know, strange, you know, like to tell the Lutheran pastor about this. <laughs> it's right happening right in the in the restaurant. <laughs> This was really amazing. And uh, then this is really very dangerous dream I had. Two nuclear bombs. It was on March 11th, 2016. At 10 p.m. I left my home to travel to Renock, Virginia. I took a midnight flight and arrived about 11 a.m. next morning. Mr. Preston and Mr. Mrs. Judy gave me their nice apartment in Bedford, Virginia where I could sleep. I prayed before going to sleep. And after I fell asleep, I saw two nuclear bombs exploded, which made a huge mushroom cloud of smoke. First, there was a, a bright light coming toward me. And then it was red like a tsunami and a wave of heat. People were melting away, almost like they were evaporated because of the heat was so intense. Buildings were falling down. In the dream, I was informed that it was a nuclear bomb. Before, let me tell you something. I did not see how this really, you know, get exploded, a mushroom cloud. I did not know those kind of words. Next morning, I was preaching in Methodist Church. And one of the good things, one of the professor from Liberty University, is a good, good man, he was there. And... Uh, I never did this, this kind of thing. I was so nervous. And I said, let me tell you something. As I was about to preach, let me tell you my dream. I never did this kind of thing before. I will tell you my dream that this is what I saw. So we better be prepared. And then I explained my dream to this professor from Liberty University. And he explained to me, you know, what you saw this is the way it works. First, you will see the light, like the waves come, then the red things come. And that's exactly, it's a nuclear bomb. And then these two nuclear bombs, what happened when it hits America, I saw the heat wave is coming toward me. And it reached to my, my knees, and I knew that I'm going to die. I was so happy. I said, Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to die. I'm going to meet you today. I am so happy that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in heaven. So I was just excited about that. Then all of a sudden, I saw the earth underneath me opened. And this earth took me in. And it was like a crawling space. It's something I went underneath. And after some time later, I came out of this crawling space. And I saw everything is destroyed. Nothing was left. No electricity. Everything is gone. And then I was thinking, why? In my other visions, I saw more nuclear bombs, you know, were dropped in the United States. On the United States, why this time the Lord is only showing me two nuclear bombs? I'm asking in a dream to the Lord. And the Lord said to me, remember, America dropped two nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And that was not the military place. Majority of those people, in fact, Brother Stan Johnson, when I told him this vision, he told me that the majority of the people in those two cities were Christians. And America dropped those nuclear bombs on Christians. Please understand. So the Lord said to me, their cry, the, the cry of their blood has reached to me and I am going to take the revenge 
you know, fought their blood against America. It was very, very scary. But at the same time, the Lord reminded me, if you really follow Jesus, again, I want to explain to you, people saying, oh, we're going to be caught up in the air before anything happened like this. The Lord reminded me that when you will go through the valley of the shadow of death, you will not be afraid of any evil. And the Lord showed me that the thousand will fall on your side, the ten thousand will fall on your right hand, but will not come close thee. The Lord has promised us that he will protect us during that time. But we need to have the mindset of like the people of Israel, like those three Jewish boys, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, when they were brought before the king and they told the king, King, we want to let you know, we're not going to worship your golden image. You know, the God we serve is able to rescue us from the fiery furnace you have designed. But if we choose not, if we have to die, we are willing to die for our God. So please understand, being a true follower of Jesus Christ, I always tell my children, hey, there may be a 10 minutes, the most 15 minutes pain, but don't ever deny Jesus. Never ever deny Jesus. It's a worth it to die for Jesus. But don't ever deny Jesus. That is one of my calling for United States of America, to prepare the body of Christ to die for Jesus. Amen. That is my calling. Yes. That's why God brought us to the United States. That's why God allowed us to be persecuted in Pakistan, in South Africa, that we could share with our testimony. Hey, if we get persecuted, praise God. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. And even if you get killed, praise God for his name's sake, because even you're going to get a bigger reward. Praise God. Because the Bible says, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, you will receive power to be my witness. The Greek word for witness called martyrs, where we get the word martyr. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is given to us to be a martyr for Jesus. Praise God. If you have the Holy Spirit, he'll give you the courage to die for Jesus. Amen. Don't ever, never ever deny Jesus. Whatever is going to happen, praise God. He will protect us. And if you choose not, praise God. This is the way I say it, the extreme love of God. God loves me. Say, God loves me. God loves you. God loves me. He loves me very much. But one day, when he called me home, he's going to tell me, I extremely love you. I don't want you to be over there on the earth. Come up here. Praise God. That is God's extreme love. If you get killed by anybody because of your faith, that's God's extreme love. He's saying, no more there. You're coming home. Praise God. Hallelujah. What more you want? One of the story I want to share with you. These Russian soldiers, they invaded in Christian home, this Christian evangelist. And they arrested him. They said, we are going to put you in a prison because you are preaching too much. He said, that would be nice. Very nice. Go ahead. Do that. I will be able to preach to the prisoners. Then they said, no, we're going to put you in a solitary confinement. This, he said, oh, that will be even better. I will have a good time with Jesus, alone time with Jesus. <laughs> and then they said, we're going to kill you. He, he said, that is best because I will be with Jesus in heaven. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Yes. You know, one thing I want to tell you, being a Christian, we are not loser. Amen. Say this with me. Being a Christian, I am not a loser. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win, win, win. 
I want to win big. In Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe Donald Trump is copying us. <laughs> because, <laughs> amen. We are a winner. Glory to Jesus. Praise God. So you're not a loser. We are winner. Praise God. Through Christ Jesus. This is really, really important. So we should be praying every day that God will give us time. Give us time. Extend His grace and mercy. It's not that it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. But what we are saying, God, could you please... I'm going to interrupt right there, but I encourage you to get Best of 2016. Five DVDs, Miracles in Pakistan, Visits to Heaven and Hell, The Babylonians Are Coming, all by Pastor Massey, then by Bree Keaton, Explosive Prayer Strategies, and Trump Speaks to the Elite by Lindsey Williams. Five DVDs valued at $168, available for a gift of just $75. Prophecyclub.com, 785-266-1112, Best of 2016 gift offer. 785-266-1112 or prophecyclub.com Thank you for listening. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your ongoing monthly support. God bless. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. As you know, Redwood Gold is now sponsoring the Prophecy Club. That means that they help us to continue to be able to come to you. So, of course, we want to help them. In an effort to get you to introduce yourself to them, they're offering a one gram silver bar free and postage paid just for giving them a call. They just want to get to know you. Now, it's a limited time offer. It works like this. You call Redwood Gold, tell them you listen to the Prophecy Club, chat with them a moment. They send you a one gram silver bar free and postage paid. Redwood Gold, 844-800-6677. Pretty good deal, huh? Just for an introduction. Redwood Gold, 844 800 6677. No obligation. Tell them you listen to the Prophecy Club. Redwood Gold, 844 800 6677. You got nothing to lose. Call today. The Republicans just won a major landslide victory in local, state, and national elections. Lindsay now releases the shocking response of the elite in his new February 2017 DVD, Elite The New Plan. The Elite Agenda, point by point. Reserve currency. Which one? How long do we have? Why the elite changed their agenda? Money under the new agenda. Gold and silver. Suggested new mindset. Now available at prophecyclub.com, 785-266-1112, Elite, the new plan. For a limited time, the Prophecy Club is offering Michael Rood's Chronological Gospels and the corresponding map. Michael Rood explains how God instructed him and guided him through countless scriptures to finally compile the corrected chronological gospels. He explains how he found the corrections to many of the unexplained verses, misunderstood verses, and old English words outdated. Now he's updated to modern English. He's quick to point out that he is a King James only man, but he has taken great care not to to change a meaning, but rather to update with the correct word so we get the modern understanding. He puts all five of the Gospels, including Revelation, in chronological order, showing that the ministry of Jesus was in fact 70 weeks long, not three and a half years long, which has caused many problems of understanding. Michael claims he has made all corrections, and this will bring a massive new understanding to previous errors and confusion in some of the verses. For a limited time, Chronological Gospels available through Prophecy Club for a gift of $65. He also offers an 18-inch by 4-foot map of the Chronological Gospels so you can quickly and easily find a reference and put many of the pieces of the puzzle together. Gift of $16 for the map. Chronological Gospels, gift of 65, map, gift of 16 at prophecyclub.com.